I think every musician has a different creative process um, and I think everybody works it out, as with everything, what works best through what doesn't work. And I guess the more, the more we write, the more you start to see like a thread and a direction. And then eventually you're like, mm, okay, so this collection of songs makes sense together and maybe that's the production style we should go with. You kind of have to make an executive decision at some point as to like what the sound of the record is so that you can finish it. I know my brain well in the studio now and I work very intensely in short periods of time. Some people really take their time, they want the whole day in the studio, it'll take them an hour to write a verse and that's their process. It doesn't matter because the end product's the same, you end up with a song. But for me, I mentally burn out if I spend more than say five hours intensely in the studio. Some of the things, when things are like going out of control, some of the few things that you can control is like sleep, what you do first thing in the morning, what you do before you go to bed. Sometimes you can't control what happens in the middle, but like even just taking control of those hours, that single hour in the morning, that single hour in the night time, like starts to have like an effect, I think. And now I know that when I tour next year, I need to prioritize getting up when we arrive at the next venue, getting up and going for a walk, taking time to have my breakfast, taking time to read my book before I go into a day of like hard press you know, hardcore interviews, meeting people, then ultimately sound check, show, then often drinks after with the promoter from that area. That's a lot to take on. And if you don't prioritize those moments of calmness, you will burn out. And it's in no one's interest, including yourself, to burn out. There's definitely this like mental ritual, like when I walk through the door of the studio, I'm in a certain headspace, I'm in work mode, I'm in, it might look a bit manic, but that's, that's my, that's me being completely comfortable with myself and not having any inhibitions. I look a bit nutty, but ultimately it's the way that I work the best. So loads of people have asked me like why it, why it was that I decided to start a degree considering I'm in such a, you know, major crossroads of my career and in a really important place. And I think ultimately, the reason why I've done it is because I feel so satisfied creatively. I feel so pushed. I'm so excited about my future as a writer that I almost, I'm looking at the rest of my life and I think there's a massive tick creatively, but like there's something else, like I don't feel intellectually challenged. Why is that? And how do I change that? But I'm not going to university because I feel like I missed out, but I'm going because at the age of 25, I look at my life and I think, actually, this is a decision I want to make now. This is something I'm interested in. Nothing to do with whether I want to have a career change, but because I want to learn about the world and like this seems like the subject that will give me that entry point to learning about the world. Being in the music industry, it's very like centered around the artist because sometimes it feels like it's the me show constantly and I need a bit of a break. And I think in the past I counteracted that by doing volunteering and that really helped me give a bit more perspective. For me, it's the perfect balance between acceptance and growth. When I feel comfortable, I don't think I'm fully happy. It's like kind of like the stagnant, which makes me unhappy which some perceive as happy because they're like, well, I'm comfortable in my space. So for me, like happiness ha is like slightly tinged with an element of discomfort that results in growth. And when I'm growing, I'm blossoming. I like myself a lot more and I'm a lot more happy like day to day. The first time that I understood what success felt like, it was the day that through water came out and it was the first Friday of lockdown. I sat there that morning and I listened to the record and I was like, you could not have done any better. What an incredible feeling. I've never felt that way about any release ever. And it's like all of that graft and it's just like a huge, big creative tick. I was like, you have mastered that onto the next. For me, success is no regrets. That feeling of no regrets, which is really hard to get to. 
I want to understand myself and I want to understand the world. And I need to understand myself as a springboard to then understand the world. Ultimately, I have struggled a lot with my mental health and my activism against that is to get to know myself through my writing, to get to expand my brain and learn about the world through being a student, volunteering. I'm constantly trying to counteract these demons and change the narrative. It's turning the ship constantly back around, even if naturally it steers in the, the other direction. But for me, I was like, no, I deserve that ship to steer in the other direction. I'm a very privileged individual. I was like, you know, if anyone had the opportunities that you have, like, it's, it'd be a waste not to, you know, steer it back on track.